All right, let us say hello to a gentleman who picked up his first UFC win on Saturday, a split decision win over Kai Kamaka at UFC Vegas 25, a highly entertaining bout, and that's probably underselling it. TJ Brown joins us right now. TJ, how are you? Man, I'm great, dude. I uh, just got done enjoying uh, a lunch with my family. Uh, so, man, I'm in a good place right now. I got a full belly. I got my first UFC win, man. It's uh, Life's good right now. So, obviously, there's a lot to discuss with you, TJ, but... Like, you, like we just talked about, your first UFC win is officially in the books. However, it has been a little bit mired in controversy. But before we get into all that, just just off the bat, like, how does it all feel? Like, does it feel like a little less sweet because of the controversy around it? Uh, man, for, for me, uh, I, I've just been on cloud, cloud nine, you know. Uh, I, I know what I did, you know. I, I trained my tail off for about 10 weeks in a fire camp. I went in there and fought my heart, my heart out, gave it all I had, and and, and I got to, I got the W, man. I uh, I've heard some controversy, some back and forth stuff, and you know, and, and I really heard some ungrateful fans. It's like, man, I just don't understand why people can't just take time to appreciate that. Me and another man put our bodies on the line, fought our heart out, and gave you such a great feeling, such a great fight, you know, and that. And then for people to be so uh, and to talk bad about me or, or Kai or or anything, it's just it's it's just amazing to me how grateful, ungrateful some people are. I don't know why people would even go after you or Kai or anybody. Yeah. Like whether you scored it, for, whether people scored it for you or scored it for him, right. it's not right. your fault. Like you right. guys put on the fight. If you have somebody to blame, you blame the judges. Exactly. So I, I, we'll get back to the fight in a moment, but you mentioned the the hard work you put in for the fight because, I mean, it, it showed. It was such a great battle between the two of you guys. But one thing that was quite noticeable through the build to this one is that you were under the tutelage of James Krause. So I'm curious how that all came to be. Uh, yeah, so I talked to uh, – I first of all, I've been seeing a lot of success out of Glory MMA and, and what James has done uh, with, with this program over there for years now. And uh, I took notice of that and – uh, so it was a, a, a few months back, I talked to my manager, Jason House. I was like, hey, man, I really like this team. I want to go down there for a week. Just try it out, you know, see if it's a good fit, you know. And I went down there, and I was just so overly impressed with those guys. I was like, I've definitely got to do my next fight camp there. So uh, when I got my contract for that fight, I, uh, I went down there. I spent about – Six to seven weeks out of that about nine week camp there, and man, it, it was just a great experience being able to train with all those those guys and and just uh, really learn James' system, and it, it did a lot. It did a lot for me as a fighter and a person, you know. A lot of people that I've talked to that that work with James, they describe him as a cheat code because he has a great sense for game planning, and then if the game plan doesn't work. He has a great sense for making adjustments in the middle of a fight. He has this like uncanny ability to see things before they happen. So working with him, getting ready for the fights, one thing, but what was your impression being in the octagon with James in your corner? Uh, it, it was amazing. You know, it, it, not just in the fight, you know, like leading up to the fight, he has the ability uh, to, to have me feeling confident in myself, to, to, to just feeling that I can perform at the best of my abilities. And, and and that's what it's about, you know. A lot of times we get caught up in, uh, I gotta win this, I gotta win this, this and that, or I gotta just worry about the result. And and reality is, to perform your best, you know, you need to just be worried about the the the, the small things and, and the process in which it takes, you know. Instead of getting caught up in the result, worry about the small things you need to be doing right. Worry about what you need to do to put on your best performance. And, and man, it, it, leading up to the fight, you know, he's a game changer. Then in the fight, like, man, you know, he's very vocal. It's almost like he's in there playing a video game with me, you know, like like I'm the character in the game and he's just over there pressing the buttons, you know. It's like he, he, he's really been a great addition to my to my team. And uh, there would be no doubt that I would be going there for the rest of my fight camps. It was very clear you were in tremendous physical condition in that octagon. And, and while – your striking like wasn't bad per se. It, it wasn't typically like your bread and butter in the fights, but your striking looked sensational on Saturday. Like a lot of people right. looked at this fight on paper 
as like a striker versus wrestler kind of a matchup, but yeah. this played out on the feet pretty much right. the majority of the time. So how I guess satisfying was it for you to, to show such an improved version of your striking, or maybe yeah. that was always there and just wasn't, you know, as, as visible to everybody. Yeah. That, that's really what, what more was, man. It's just, there's so much people haven't seen, you know, uh, I, I want so bad to, to have the performance so people can see really how good I am. And, you know, my first few UFC fights, I really just wasn't able to to show who I am. And, and man, you look at that last fight, like, uh, although I showed some incredible dog and what people think I had such improved boxing, man, I've been boxing. I, I boxed before I did MMA. Like, my striking's always, always been good. I just got to show you all a glimpse of how good my striking is, you know, and uh, I've got so much more to show, you know, and uh, I think with James Krause in my corner and, and with talking with my sports, sports psychologist, you're just going to see more better and better fights out of me and better performances me as, as I grow. When did you start seeing a sports psychologist? Uh, just this last camp. And how much of a difference has that made for you? Uh, I think it made a big difference. You know, uh, she, she's taught me things that don't just apply to fighting, but also to my life. And it's just helped me grow as an individual and, and just helped me uh, get in that zone a bit easier and, and just it, it, it deal with, with the anxiety. It's just, it's been great for me. And, and it, it's, it's taught me a lot of things. It's taught me things that I can help teach my son. Like, it's just, it's been a, it's been a great, uh, great change. Being able to see shots coming your way, that that, that looks like it vastly improved too. Like your striking defense, you're able to slip a lot of different things. Uh, yeah. and, and I thought your durability overall looked looked really good too. Thanks. Is that something that you notice as well? Yeah, I, I think I, I thank you for saying that. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, that's just one of those things where I was just finally able to show everybody like that's been good. Like man, if you guys that have been training me for, for years. They know how good my head movement is and, and, and my boxing. You know, it's just I just haven't been able to show you guys, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm proud I was able to show a, a little deeper side of me this fight, you know. But, I mean, there, there's more of me that you haven't seen. So uh, I'm excited to show more. So, and I mentioned this to other people, too. When I watch these fight night cards, I watch them on ESPN Plus, and we never get to see – conversations in the corner. And when James Krause is coaching, like I want to hear what this man is saying between rounds. And we've seen some of his speeches go viral, especially the Grant Dawson one before he got his finish. Did he say, was there any sort of thing that stuck out to you? Any, any sort of instruction in the corner that, that maybe we missed that stuck out to you? Well, what, what important thing he did is going into the second, into the third, you know, I'll, I, of course we're both tired, but he had the ability to grab my attention and me focus in and him give instruction. You know, uh, the, the way he's able to bring people in in the most crazy, adrenaline high times and be able to get you to focus in and give you direct instructions that you can comprehend in that moment and then go in and apply. I mean, that's something special. That's, that's something you see some of the highest level coaches not able to implement. And, and it goes back to, to show you that the amount of, faith I have in him as the coach that I can trust him in those dire moments. So the fight was, was amazing. The second round was crazy because yeah. you hurt him and then he hurt you. And it was just this really crazy fight right. for 15 minutes. So before we get to like what, what happened after the fact, when it was over, did you and James feel confident that it was, this was going to go your way? Uh, you know, to, to be honest, it, it I, I knew in my heart that I had fought and give everything I had. You know, that, that's one thing I knew for sure. I, I was, I was, uh, let, let me, I want to try to phrase this the best way I can. Um, I, I, I thought it could have went either way at that point. You know, I was not 100% confident we got the win. Uh, I thought I won two out of the three rounds for sure. And, uh, but, but, I knew it could have went either way, you know, and, uh, but like I said, I knew I, I'd fought my heart out and get every, everything I could. And, and that's all you can do at the end of the day. Were you feeling confident that a bonus was going to come your way because yes. everybody loved oh the fight? Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like I got robbed, man. You know, uh, I was so pumped up, you know, that, that I was fixing to get this 50 G's, you know, like my manager thought I was my coach. Everybody was like, man, it's in the bag. And then I didn't get it. So, yeah, did you watch the main event? Did you kind of? Yeah, yeah, it was cool. The elbow was cool, but they didn't fight as hard as we did. <laughs> so you thought you should have got over the main event? Yeah, man, for sure. We fought like dogs in there, man. You did. That first round between Prashka and Reyes was just 
I, I still can't believe what I saw, but yeah, you had the longevity. I'll give you that. Have you watched the fight again since Saturday? Yeah, you know, I wanted to go back and try to give a, a better opinion, a more unbiased opinion, and just kind of watch it as a whole, and and just so I could uh, have a, have a better opinion. Because when you're in there, you know, you may be seeing it one way, but uh, yeah, I've rewatched it, and I, and I believe I won. You know, I, I believe I won. I believe you look at the stats, I struck him. You know, and I had more submission attempts. I had takedown. I don't know, man. I hate this is happening. You know, I, I went there and fought my heart out. Now it's like it's some big controversial deal. It's, it's crazy. So it takes some of this, the steam out of it. In a, in yeah, a man. It's like, I don't know, dude. It's crazy. I mean, I think you said it best, though. You went in there, you gave it everything you had, yeah. and win or lose, I think even, even if the split went his way, I still think you'd probably – do you think you'd feel better? Like, do you, do you think you'd feel better no. if there's no controversy? Hell no. I, I'm glad I won. I thought I won, man. So I, I definitely, I, 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 I don't know. I'm sure you saw this by now, but it appears that Kai Kamak and his team are going to appeal this decision. They are all aware, as is, as if everybody else listening right now, that the chance of this being overturned is pretty much zero. But how did you, yeah, dude, how did you react to this? Bro, I'm a, what, I, what caught my attention is, and you know, I'm a man. I teach my son and myself to have good sportsmanship and, and, and to be set a good example. After that fight, win or lose, his coach is up in arms, runs out the cage, throws a fit, didn't even shake my hand. You know, like that shows a lot about him. You know, I, I, I've always been taught win or lose, you, you dust yourself off as a man and you show respect to your opponent and his coaches. And he didn't come over and shake my hand and nothing, you know. So that was. A bit disrespectful, in my opinion, you know, win or lose. And uh, you're not setting a good example for, for your athletes or your team by showing that bit of uh, sportsmanship. How disappointing was that? Because, you know, uh, this is like a classic coaching battle. People were excited. You get Eric Nixick versus James Krause. People right. just were, were fired up to see other. How disappointing was that? Uh, it was a bit, you know, because he's talked to me before, like, and, and been cordial with me. And, and Kyle was super nice. Like, dude, we had a conversation afterward. I showed him my love, you know, because I, I respect a man that would go in there with me like that and fight like a dog. Like, dude, like, I got mad respect for him, like, regardless. So I just, I hate seeing things like that. It doesn't set a good example for other people either. At the end of the day, you get the win, and that's great. And I'm sure your son was quite thrilled that his dad got yeah. his first UFC win. What was that like speaking with him after your first Octagon win? Oh, dude, he was pumped, man. He... <laughs> He, he said he was super nervous, like, but he, he was pumped. My mom and grandparents but had a heart attack, you know, so it, it was crazy. But, man, he's pumped, and uh, I, I'm pumped that we're going to spend this week, uh, me and him, really spending some quality time together. You know, it's, it's very long overdue, and, man, it's just nice to unwind this week. Yeah, that's it. How old is he now? Nine. Oh, my God, man. I feel like I, feel like I talked to you like a – <laughs> He's grew up with this, like you know. <laughs> I, I, I remember the last time I talked to you, he was he was, he was a little guy, and now he's nine. Oh my god, yeah. mine's eight yeah. now. Oh, what do I have to cool, look? Man. What do I have to look forward to to nine? Is nine better than eight? Ah, uh, man, mine had a huge growth spurt here recently, but man, uh, he's starting to be, get a little more sassy. But he's <laughs> <laughs> he's a good kid. My kid, I picked him up from school, and uh, I was like, "Oh, how was your day?" He goes, "Yeah, it was good." Uh, and I, I, I could tell something was wrong. And I'm like, what happened? He goes, I got, you know, I was talking to a, to a kid and I told, she, you know, they were talking about cats and I said, cats suck. And I got in trouble. I was like, what? You're eight. Yeah. You're eight. <laughs> oh, fatherhood, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Fatherhood and fighting. I, I, you're, you're a madman, TJ. I'm, Thanks, man. I'm curious, would you run it back with Kai? Like just for the purpose of like, okay, you, you know, all these people thought you won. Let me just prove it to you. I'm the yeah, better man. Let's uh, no you know, doubt. I'm not, I'm not against things like that. You know, uh, again, I've got nothing respect for him. So, I mean, it, it, I, I, I would, I would take the fight, you know, uh, I need to let my brain rest for a little bit, dude. My, uh, my head's been hurting pretty good. So I'll let my brain rest for a while, but for sure I would give him that fight again, dude. I, you know, I, I'm down for whatever, you know, I'd like to start making my, my way up the, the rankings, you know, but yeah, I'd be down to fight him again. 
I know you just fought on Saturday, but is there, are you kind of like looking at the calendar right now? Yeah. Yeah. Back? So, so we, we've looked at the calendar, you know, I need to let, get a little rest from, from the sparring for a bit. Uh, but yeah, we've got some people in mind we're looking at and we're trying to look at some dates right now. So yeah, we, we're, we're in, we're in the works, man. We're always working. I think summer, maybe sometime in the summer, a little bit after summer. Yeah. All right. Early fall football and yeah, fighting. Early fall, there you go. early fall would be ideal. Awesome. Well, TJ, listen, I, I appreciate you coming on here and talking about it. The fight was awesome. No matter what anybody says, the performance was fantastic. Thank it was a really you. good fight. Uh, no matter what I say or anybody else says, it is in the books as a win. You got your two checks and uh, you worked your ass off to get that. So thank you for the time, TJ, and uh, congratulations. All the best to you and enjoy the quality time with your with your son. Man, thank you for your time. It's always great talking with you. Absolutely, man. Thank you.